Yeah, but uh, of course, uh, I just w want to know that um, even if uh, <laughs> it's very nice to to see you again, even a long time that we we don't see you, you we too. don't talk. Also, um, I also, um, but uh, let me know how how uh, I was thinking that. Um, if you will teach me uh, English, I don't know how how is your program or uh, how do you to pretend to do that uh, or you have an, an schedule or I don't know you 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 also have more experience than me uh, teaching. Um, I don't really have a lot of time because I'm very very busy. So, um, let's just start talking casually and I can write some, some critiques like I'm already doing, maybe talk about your job. Um, you know, if I start hearing a trend of errors or like something I'm hearing you saying over and over, then maybe I will prepare something for next time, but, um, I would like to start casually just because I do not have so much time. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Sounds good. Uh, so, uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> um, so, actually, I think that uh, you started recording, but um, for uh, people who probably will see uh, that video, uh, we could uh, start to uh, saying that we already met here in Brazil, you and me. Um, it was in 2013, 2012. I don't remember. Probably 2012. And I never returned. I should have returned to Brazil. Whatever. <laughs> yes, actually, you were my first English student ever in my entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that I in 2012, <clears throat> uh, I was preparing to travel to, to Canada because I want to improve my English. And uh, you teach me, you give me a lot of tips. Uh, and and, and, and it's for that reason that the telling me I am your, the first student, really. Yes, I um, <clears throat> That's so funny, too, because... I remember when I went to Brazil and I was studying, you know, I wanted to be an English teacher when I graduated and uh, your, well, our friends were saying, oh, I have a friend who wants English classes. Will you teach him English? And I was like, sure, I want the experience, you know, I'm glad that you enjoyed me as a uh, you being my first English student ever. Yeah, yeah. And now here we uh, are. Now you're the yeah. first one <clears throat> person to get uh, these classes that I'm offering now. <laughs> no, and, 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 and I appreciate it, uh, Ivan. So how do you, what do you think how in, in this... Um, uh, a little minute that we are talking. What do you think about my English? Because uh, I will, I, I want to let you know that I don't practice my English since I come back to Brazil. It, it is into... terrible. I terrible. feel deep shame. <laughs> deep oh my shame. <laughs> what is this deep shame? I feel deep shame that you are my first uh, <laughs> English student and you are speaking this way. Um, well, okay, so your, Engl your English is good. You know, you do say errors, but I think that this is totally normal. You do not have con uh, contact with English all the time. Or wait, do you speak English? at your job or have you ever had to speak english in your job no no i don't speak english in my job um i i just tried to see some videos in but since 2013 when i come come back to from canada 
I I don't I don't I stopped the study. I see. How do you think your experience in Canada helped you with English? I think it was very well because uh, I was there for all, almost eight months or seven months. But um, when I went to Canada, I was in a college, in a Vancouver International College. Um, I already graduated as a as as a master's student, so I prepared my resume. I don't remember. Probably you helped me with that. Um, I went to the Department of Materials Engineering at UBC at the at the University of British Columbia, and I make an. Uh, uh, Oh, I don't, I don't know how, how can I say it? Uh, I contact the, the head of the department and uh, I told, I am a student, I come, I, I come from, uh, from Brazil. I already finished my, my master's career and I studied uh, with this material. So fortunately, fortunately we, for me, at this time, they was also making a research or uh, about the same material that I was, I, I already studied in, in here in Brazil. So I offered me uh, to help with the research. So I also have these interactions uh, with some students at this university. And it's, it was uh, very good for me because you have another level where, where when you studied in, in the university, you have other interactions uh, from uh, compared with the students that uh, go for for some place to just study English. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, so, so um, yes. You sound you sound much more able to speak when you are speaking about work or technical matters. You sounded very confident there. I think that. Um, maybe you are more used to speaking in the biz business environment and not the casual environment. Yeah, probably, probably because, um, yeah, just for, because you, you also, I also, um, spend some time reading some articles or reading some some materials or, or, or for my work so you were the first to introduce me to engineering oh really yeah because remember when i met you back then which i just feel like ugh, just talking about this makes me feel so stupid i should have gone back to brazil but um when i met you uh I was teaching you English, and I think you showed me some of your papers and um, things that you had to read and were asking me about it. And so you were the first person that introduced me to all the crazy English words for engineering. And I was like, what is, you know, what is this word? I don't know what this is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, and I remember that you, you, re you, you check my resume sometimes. So I am very, uh, it was very nice for me, uh, even. And I, 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 I don't know, I, I can ask you something in uh, some word that I don't, I don't know, or I, I don't remember. Can I speak in Portuguese? Or yeah, yeah, so talk however you want. No rules here, okay? <laughs> Just no, no bad words because I want to no, put this no. on YouTube, <laughs> and so I don't want YouTube to, uh, like, no, of course ban not, my not video. But as long as you don't use bad words, do, say whatever you want. Yeah, no, uh, I was, uh, I am great, grateful, grateful. I, I want to say that um, I am, I appreciate a lot of that. Uh, thing that you do for me when you check my resume. It was uh, very good for me because with this resume, I presented it, for example, when I when I was in Canada, 
uh, and uh, and also here in Brazil when I uh, come back from from Canada, I also uh, send my resume for some companies. So it was very good to 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 have a re uh, a resume uh, checking for an. Um, a, a person who whose whose first language is uh, English. Yes, yes, you are very welcome. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know it <clears throat> seems like it was so long ago, but uh, supposedly now I should be much better at teaching English now that I have been doing it for nine years. So, um, wow, you yeah, so you are teaching nine years yeah nine years now teaching english isn't that crazy it, and um not only online i've done it in schools too so i'm like a a real english teacher <laughs> so you, you should come to to brazil to teach english maybe i don't know it's like you want to know um You've seen my pets, right? Yeah. Like the fact that I have weird exotic animals. One of them is on my lap right now, actually, in this weird bag. Um, What's that? A sugar glider. What's that? I don't know. I, I don't. You don't remember that I have weird pets? I'm going to try to, like, show you a little bit because I don't want to. Uh... Oh, I got it. Oh, I remember that you, you have some of, of, of uh, yeah, I have three of them, three of them. And of I them, love yeah. them very much. So like, that's the number one obstacle of me going to Brazil. If I were to go, they would have to, um, I don't know how it, they, I would have to claim that they're my emotional support animals or something like this. Um, the second thing is like things are really expensive now and I live in a cheap apartment in Florida and there's not many cheap apartments in Florida left. So if I leave my apartment, I may not be able to return to Florida. So I that's like a big reason why I've kind of decided like eh, I'm going to stay in Florida because um before the pandemic, Florida was much cheaper and I could have gone and returned. But now it's kind of like, you know, if I leave this apartment, I don't know if I can come back to Florida. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Do, do you already uh, uh, vote, vote this, uh, this apartment? Or... No, I wish. Don't even get me started. You already know about a lot of this house buying story. I mean, in fact, this is why I'm doing this now because I'm just trying to reach this financial place I want to be. Um, you want to know the thing, though? Like, I could buy a house, theoretically, but I do not think it would be a good idea because... The houses are very expensive, and yeah. how how much is a is a house there on, on Florida? Because uh, I I think it um, depends on the place where you are or where you are to planning yeah. to, to live. Uh, you have uh, some difference of. Uh, so of I'll tell I'll try price. to tell you with like numbers. Okay, this makes it easier to understand. I don't know for like I don't know for a fact because I um you know I was looking to buy a cheap apartment nothing special you know just like a one bedroom apartment and it was easy um like there were a lot of apartments for seventy thousand seventy five thousand dollars around this price um then all of a sudden boom two hundred wow yeah. And since, now they're like 150 seven, or something. Since, since 70,000, 70, 70, 75,000 to 150? 
Oh yeah. Well, no, I, I, I feel like, like this apartment that I live in right now, which is small and ugly, I believe in 2019, this apartment would probably cost $75,000 in 2021. It would probably cost like $200,000 in 2022. It probably costs like $150,000. So the prices have gone really crazy and Technically, I could get a loan, but I don't want to have a giant house loan that I'm owing for my entire life. And that wasn't the reason I want uh, that I was going to buy a house. You know, I was bu I wanted to buy a house to have financial freedom and be like, yeah. oh, I'm free. I don't have to worry about rent. And, you know, <laughs> there's no point for me if I have a huge loan that I'm going to be like drowning and so so for what reason do you think that uh, the price of the apartments high uh, are higher in do you want to know the truth like i don't know if i should tell the truth i guess i can tell the truth um hopefully youtube <laughs> does not hate me for this but like in the united states we're very politicized And, like, this is not the only reason, but I believe this is one of the main reasons. Um, we are very politicized. And Florida um, took a very rebellious stance against COVID measures. Like... Cover um, measures. So what, yeah. what what is what is what does it mean? COVID measures know. like wearing masks. Could you could you write it for me, please? Or if you want to change the a word, or also is good. Can you see it? What I'm writing? No, not 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 right now. You can't see anything. Uh, no, I I see here. Uh, oh, yeah. I think uh, you need to scroll it, or something. Yeah, yeah. It's because uh, my camera that the the video is was in the front, but I I already I already COVID measures. Isn't Zoom oh, great? COVID measures. It is. Yeah. It is great. It's great. COVID it is great. measures. This is something we need to talk about, too. The crazy pronunciations in English, particularly American English. Um, often it's because in, Span in Spanish, there is no difference in length of a syllable. Like I say inteligente, and they're all the same length. But in English, we say intelligent. Um, we have a stressed syllable that is pronounced much longer than a non-stressed syllable. And in an unstressed syllable, we will use all of these weird, relaxed pronunciations that people, I think they're not prepared to hear uh, because an English teacher will speak as beautifully as possible and they're not ready to hear like measures. But um, something to think about always. If you hear a weird pronunciation of something, it's probably because it's an unstressed syllable and we're doing some kind of super relaxed pronunciation. Um, okay, like I understand. Jurors. Um, okay, so I don't know if this is the 100 reason of why Florida became so expensive, but I think it's a huge reason is that when the pandemic happened, um, a lot of states, they had um, strict COVID measures and Florida basically said, you know, Um, freedom, <laughs> do whatever you want. You know, you don't have to wear a mask if you don't want to. So, okay. even, even today, even today, even do you have any strike measures, um, COVID measures, uh, measures 
even today, do you have it? Or I'm not because sure because here in Brazil, I've seen... here in Brazil, um, I think uh, I think that uh, everything is normal today. All place you you can you don't have any restrictions or COVID measures uh, today. I don't know today because we're super politicized here, right? So we have different states so like the state that i'm from uh and remember i was at home in 2020 i wasn't in florida so yeah. like they were very strict with all the measures and i don't know if they're i don't know if they have any measures or anything but um maybe Maybe like California or New York or these types of states have measures. Florida, obviously, no. But like, I think that that's a huge reason that Florida became very expensive because, like, you know how Tesla moved from Tesla moved from California to Texas. Oh, really? Yeah. So like, it, it was for the COVID. Kind of, yeah, because it made it harder for businesses to operate. So um, a lot of business people that previously only ever really lived in California or, California or New York, which were the business hubs of the United States, they all said, well, um, you know, why am I going to stay here when I can just go to Florida open my business people will walk in without a mask and give me their money tomorrow and if i stay uh -huh. here they will say you know um you need to everyone must wear a mask and uh you know you can only have 20 people in your restaurant at a time and here they're just like do whatever you want so yeah I don't know if this is the 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 uh, only reason, but I feel like this is one of the biggest reasons that Florida is so expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but um, I think here in Brazil also you have a, a lot of rules at the beginning of the COVID. Uh, the the government spends a lot of money. You have an an stable unstable economy, so some price of uh, some things uh, was higher compared with in a normal a normal uh, year uh, but uh, i don't know probably uh, um, but how about the economy how is the co the economy uh, you know on, in, in usa now or even um like, I live in Florida, so I feel that Florida is better economically than a lot of other states. But, um, you know, they talk a lot about inflation and a recession and things like this, but I'm kind of starting to feel it a little bit. Gas has been expensive. A lot of food products have... Um, increased in price a lot but yeah. but but um you know in 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 one way i'm very lucky which is that i have been teaching english online for all of these years and online working in general but being an online teacher has become more of a serious profession or um there's a lot more opportunities now so oh, good yeah so it's like you know on one hand i do feel that we are in a bad spot economically but then on the other hand with my particular um job you know i i can't really complain you know but things have been getting expensive so yeah yeah and um probably uh the war in uh between russia 
on uh, I forget the other country, my God. Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, are impact all all the the countries and USA is not an exception of it. Yeah, well, um, I don't know, you know, I think that considering the past two years that we have had, and like, you know, the United States is not only dependent on the United States. Um, we have very free trade generally with almost every other country in the world. So um, a lot of countries depend on us. We depend on them. Yeah. And like, you know, things are just kind of hard internationally right now. So yeah. um, things just are not the way that they were before. Like, uh, you want to know something funny? Like, what uh, made me truly realize that we were in trouble or we were in a recession? Like, um, there's this type of meat that I like to eat called Spam. In Portuguese, it's fiambre. I don't know what it is in Spanish or even if you have it. Carne en la tala or something. But it's like a very cheap, cheap type of meat in the United States. Um, it's How much do you pay for it? A dollar. A dollar. Well, I go to the Dollar Tree and buy the dollar can of Spam. These are some of the videos I want to start doing. Is like showing the cheap food in the United States. Like, yeah. look at what I ate for a dollar. Because even though we're in kind of weird times like the food is still really cheap but like okay i used to always buy this dollar can of spam and then now the dollar can of spam i can't find it anymore and instead it's like a time it used to be like huge and now it's like a little tiny um yeah do, do you know uh you are remembering remember remember me rem remember me that um uh, I saw a video from one guy from USA that is they speak uh, a lot of, a lot of, of language, principle of uh, uh, Chinese or uh, Mandarin or another, and they they went to the China China Chinatown in USA, and they. Um, they go to the to the uh, to the eat, and they start to 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 speak in in, in this kind of language very well with no accent of a uh, foreigner person, uh, and all all people uh, get impressed. Probably you can also visit some restaurant restaurants from from Brazil and try to 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 speak in in. In, in Portuguese, also make a video about that because I don't Portuguese know if they'd have well. that type of reaction here in Florida, though. Because in Florida, like in Miami, uh -huh. they would just say, Oh, whatever, someone speaking Portuguese. Like, you don't even understand. The Brazilians don't even believe that I'm a gringo, they think I'm lying. Like, um, not all Brazilians, but like. Brazilians often when I talk to them, they mm -hmm. think that like my parents are Brazilian or something. I don't think <laughs> I don't think I'd get a strong reaction here in Florida. Like if I were to be like Ei beleza. Quanto custa essa camisa? Like they wouldn't go, oh the gringo. They would just be like dollars, you know, they um but <laughs> I don't know. I think that this is a good idea, like what I'm doing right now, because yeah, it's just an idea that I had because you know what? I'm so busy teaching yeah. English. It's just, like since how, the pandemic, it's just how many hours do, do you do for a day? Do you work for a day? Not so many now. I work like 
I would say six to eight hours a day, but I work seven days a week. Oh, I got it. No, yeah, I, don't, I never was stopped. working. Yeah. But like in 2020, I was working like 15 hour days and um, I was really going crazy for 2020 and 2021. Now I work like six to eight hours a day, but seven days a week. Um, so, you know, I started thinking I want to make my YouTube channel, my gringo channel. And yeah, I was thinking of the English teaching videos, you know, in yeah. on an ad, I can do kind of like updated videos of, of other English teaching topics that have been done before. Um, and then I want to make videos like. Um, jeito fácil de ganhar dinheiro nos Estados Unidos, like stuff like that, you know. Yeah, Or, I think it's very good idea. But uh, this is my best idea, I think, because there's so many people that ask me for English classes all the time, and I'm like, eh, I'm too busy, I don't have time, like, sorry, you know. But then I thought of this idea. Okay, I'll give classes for free, but you have to let me put them on YouTube, and I think that's the best idea because I don't need to edit the videos. Yeah. Because people want the full class, no edits. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think it's a good idea. Do you do you already have the name of the channel? Yeah, I guess I can tell you because um, this is only going to go up when I actually like start the channel. So. I wanted to just call myself O oh, Gringo, but um, a lot of these websites like Facebook and TikTok and whatever, they don't really like the word gringo. Yeah. Um, so I, I wanted to do something that made sense in Spanish and Portuguese because I want to do videos in Spanish too. Why not? Si hablo español también. Yeah, yeah. Of course, like, and probably you have uh, a lot of people that uh, from USA that I, I am also learning Spanish or Portuguese. Yeah, that will be, it, it, it will be interesting for them. Okay, but I think that the name is amazing personally. So at first I was going to call myself Gringando. Well, in Portuguese, Gringando. In Spanish, Gringando. But... um. I wanted something that had the name available on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And I think like one of those, someone already has Gringando. Yeah. So then I changed it to Gringamos. So in Portuguese, Gringamos, and then in Spanish, Gringamos. Um, so I think it sounds good. Yeah, oh, the, I, I like I like Green Gamos really. So that's what that's what I've decided because um and do you, do you have a, a, a logo type? I need to make it still. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, like just take a picture of myself. Yeah. <laughs> and like have an American flag behind me or something, or like a but I don't know. I honestly think like a lot of people are saying that. But did, did you see this this kind of um, format or did, did you see this kind of program or or YouTube YouTube channel or or this is an, an a new idea or do you have another another person that already do that? What you are thinking to do? It's I like mean. a mix of both because there's a lot of brazilians inside of the united states right now with youtube channels showing like oh oh yo kikio fossil no minha cidade you know yeah, yeah and so yeah, like i'm yeah. taking a lot of ideas from them there were a lot of other gringo english teachers before me so i am kind of um you know taking their idea to some degree but like <clears throat> my children's videos no no one no no one's ever done those children's videos before and like um as far as this goes i'm not really sure if anyone's ever just 
offered English classes for free, recorded them and put them on YouTube. Cause like what I'm hoping is that I can start going on YouTube live. Hey, first person to comment gets a free class. And then, hey, here's your free class. But you, but they have to let me put it on YouTube. And then um, people will want to subscribe because if they subscribe, they have a higher chance of getting a free class. And if people start saying, I want a free class, I want a free class, and I'm too busy, I'll be like, well, help me get monetized if I start getting paid for these classes that I'm doing for free. But I think that's just a really interesting idea because this is the only way, this is a way for me to give classes for free. And then supposedly in the future, I'll be paid for them. I got it. You know, like if I get monetized in the future, I could get paid for this that right now I'm doing for free. So, um, and I don't know, it's just something I want to do. I just, yeah, wanna... you need to, you need to think very well what we will, you will do. Um, also, you, you, you telling me that the uh, US, you, you saw another video. So, probably you can catch the best ideas of these videos of, uh, of YouTubers and also do in your channel. I think it's it, because I, it sometimes I, a, a video that I already see in one channel some month later and uh, that I, I ask, I'm reviewing a, a, a YouTube videos, uh, I can't find it in another channel. So I think it will be very, very good for, for you if you just catch the best ideas. And of course, people will be interesting. Uh, you 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 have this three language that you can speak: Portuguese, English, Spanish. Will be interesting interesting for all people. Will be great. Um, Zoom is gonna kick us out, so I'm trying to write my final notes. Um. Okay. Remind two people involved. I remind you to wake up early. Remember one person involved. I remember to wake up early. Each other, reflexive form of we. We see each other. <laughs>